morning folks here we are once again then picking bro up from the station yes kind of about the habit this so bro hopefully at least i think he's on this train i don't know <laughs> we just assume so should be coming in right now Right, we're here at this. This was an actual carriage of a train that the owner converted down in England and brought it up here again. But um, not very happy because I got loads of change. I gave him a 10 pound note for three pounds and got 50 p's and 20 p's and everything in my change. So, mm. what are you saying? And of course, I paid again for this. Feeding the birds. Feed the birds. Should be feeding from your hand. It's a very tame bird, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, hang on. That was breakfast, folks. I give it a three out of ten. I give it a five. Mm, a bit the best. Poorer. The sauce was cheap. The sausages were cheap. The rolls were okay. They you were buttered. Have split the sausages. Uh huh. I think so too. But there you go. Anyway, breakfast is done. Right. Good. Uh, good mid morning, everybody. You find us here on the Perth Road, where we're today. We're going in search of the. Uh, the famous quadrangle in the Dundee University and also we're going to go and try and find the John Peel Stone. Right folks, here's kind of an interesting shop, it's art supplies, but this is what we like. Look, picture of that famous artist with no ear. What was his name again? Van Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, yes, excellent. Right folks, we've come up this side street here and it, it's all very... Uh, Derelict. What's going on? What on earth? Weird. So this is a real concrete carbuncle, isn't it? Goodness me. Biological sciences. What lies behind the doors of the biological sciences? What are we going to find? Some uh, end government rule. Legalise weed. <laughs> oh, so it's blocked off. Blow the road in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, so it all seems to be very... Uh, urban and sealed up and uh, I don't know why I, th I thought this stuff was still all open but so it's been a while since uh, we've been in this area so maybe that's what's happened this is called Dow Street but uh, at one time this would have been a thriving student area but now look at it it's just zombie apocalypse land Oh, what's this say? Ooh, a Wally is in front of this building. Okay. Strange indeed. Yeah, it looks like it. What? 
so there is still some signs of life here folks it's uh, rather unusual oh somebody there but um, this is the Dun Duncan of Jordiston I'm sure this is the back of the art college here now as well but we've got some houses here what's going on strange well, it's very strange indeed we've got this row of houses in the middle of the uh, the campus the odd very odd indeed bro strange houses there <laughs> well multi trepidationi I think I found the John Peel stone folks could this be it I'm Why sure it's I'm sure it's, uh, it used to be here I'm sure it's here bro hang on you can still see it on here look teenage dreams hard to beat there we go it's still no so a big granite slab that used to be called the John Peel stone I don't know what it is folks as you can see it did have a bit of graffiti on it teenage dreams so hard to beat as you walk down the street so and here I am on top of the John Peel stone teenage dreams so hard to beat made famous by the undertones and of course it was John Peel's favorite song he said the first time he ever heard it he was driving along the road and he had to pull the car over and uh, cry he said it was just so good and actually when John Peel died I think some radio station played um, teenage kicks by the undertones non-stop for something like 24 hours so there we go John Peel stone here in the campus Dundee University. It's not the most exciting of stones, I know, but it's been here for ages and ages. Thank you. Right, here it is, folks, the union, the famous student union here. Campus. Everything else is shut. Oh, we found a map so we can see where we are. Right. Now, here's a weird object of the day, folks. is it actually you can tell what it is now look we have all these uh, tools it's like a bike station I think is this what it is and we have the pump as well so yes it's a bike station and we have bicycle tubes as well look Quick, you said quid well this is where, where are we bro we are in the University of Dundee heading towards the Geddes quadrangle and we think it could be through here we're going through this bit here let's see where this takes us shall we oh it looks promising okay. All right. Oops. Oh, yes it's like a wee maze here look you think that way or down here oh so this is the, uh, the Peter's electrical Engineering Laboratory in 1909. There we are, folks. We think we found the Geddes Quadrangle. Oh, yes, here it is. Oh, there's people there, bro. Honestly. Somebody there. Yep. Oh, here it is. At least I think this is it. What have we got? British Association, 1912. So here it is, folks. The Geddes Quadrangle, nice quiet oasis in the middle of Dundee campus. Now you wondered how Bro gets all these good photographs. Well, there you are. Look, he is trying to get a good angle on something. Now I was going to go over to the old Wally over there, but look, there's loads of people there, so. Anyway, the, the Geddes Quadrangle is just hidden up there. Lovely, lovely little place it was, must say. Lovely colours here, folks. Oh, 
Right, so here's another another Wally, folks. <laughs> Show this one's all about. Dundee past and present. Oh, it's got photographs of old Dundee's heritage. Yes, the whale, very nice indeed. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Yes, very good indeed. Most impressed. Lovely view as well. It's just before, folks. Look, is that, is that a dragon or a, is that a dog head? I don't know. Weird. Indeed, indeed now. That says Neg Tamen Consumbatan, I think. I'm not sure what that's all about. Right, well, that's how I drew these. We found this little clock. I've never noticed this before. All the times I've been in Druthy Neighbours, I never noticed that clock. It says Kensington, London. I think it's 1876 or something like that. There we go. Super. Now, this street's actually quite uh, interesting. It's got a lot of pillars. Nice architecture. Now, we reckon this has got something to do with the fact that a lot of Italians came over here and built on this area. I mean, look at all the pillars. There's loads of them. Every single one. It's got these fantastic facades. Amazing. Right, folks, you are now dining. I have an Empire biscuit, a homemade Empire biscuit, and some cappuccino. And Bro's got a homemade banana cake. Ooh, looks good, bro. Made, right. out, made out of bananas, you know. Let's see what it is. Excellent. Well, I must say, folks, that was a fantastic biscuit I had there. I give mine 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for mine, too. Okay, so there's 14 mm. out of 20. That's a fantastic thing. The Tartan Cafe, nice coffee as well. I only came to under £10 for two, right? My Empire Biscuit, bro, banana loaf, and two big cappuccinos. Brilliant. £9, 5 pence. Fantastic. Thank you.